welcome back to Enigma. So, let's just jump right back in. Adult, is that the girl from yesterday? Yeah. Uh, don't ever get close to her again, you hear? I wasn't the one who approached her. Yeah, whatever. If you see her again, just run. It would be nice if I could also explain the reason why. Ah, uh, well, that's, um... I don't really know myself, but it's been said that nothing good comes out of dealing with a lion. Hmm. But we should be fine as long as we don't go too deep into Enigma. I've never met those things on this path, at least. I see. He didn't go as far as to state they don't appear, appear here at all. After all, we're better on the hill outside of Enigma altogether. What? Hmm? If they did appear, I'd be the one that they're after. In the worst case scenario, I should at least make sure Boy gets out of this alive. Chester, are you listening to me? Uh, yeah, I am. Listen, even the one who made the thing says to watch out for it. Ignis? When I was a total, or when I was still a total kid, he told me the doll would gobble me up if I came close. <laughs> Were you trying to do his impression? That actually did sound like him a bit. That doesn't matter. Anyway, whenever this or that thing appears, something bad happens. It appeared when my parents died, too. Anyway, I think we talked enough about this. Let's just go. Yeah. Damn. Did you get tired? I'm still fine. Let's have a short break. There's no reason to hurry anyway. Thanks. Pause. Oh, hi! It's the same as before! Oh my goodness! Oh, sh ouch. Sorry. Ah, I'm moving. Do you get more comfy? <sighs> I can see the white forest. Enigma over there. Yeah? It really is white like snow. We're on the border between the green and white forest. Hmm, what is it? Why are you looking at me like that? It's nothing. I just thought your hair is a pretty color. Or a pretty cool color. Really? But now that you mention it, I haven't seen anyone blonde on this island. I've never seen anyone like you, even among the outsiders. It's not such a rare color in Lysnia, though. I guess I just didn't know. I bet only a small fraction of outsiders reach this island alive anyway. Whoa, you can't tell the number of accidents exactly. Yeah, well, Greta might know. What about Genius, then? Genius? You don't know him? A middle-aged guy with quite a mouth. With quite a mouth? Hmm. I don't- or I didn't know we had anyone like that on the island. Seems to be always goofing around these parts. I think you should have met him at least a few times. I see the I see him in the park most of the time. Say hi the next time you meet him. Oh, whoops. <clears throat> I see him in the park most of the time. Say hi the next time that you meet him. He's quite lonely there. You mean the Fountain Square? Well, I guess I could try to speak with him sometime. But I doubt I'll have a chance to go there a lot after this. Right. I myself won't be able to go there either. Hopefully I'll run into him one more time. We exchanged a promise to have a drink together after all. I... Hmm? Maybe I should have hair longer. Like you. What's that all, of, or all about all of a sudden? You think it'd look weird? No, not at all. Though I think short hair suits you just fine. But if you're planning to have it longer, I'd recommend you go further than me, until you can at least tie your hair up comfortably. My haircut is a total pain in the butt on hot days. I see. Um, aren't 
Reggie being a bit more silent than usual, and your stare is going to burn a hole in me if you keep it up. Yeah. Yeah, well that's not exactly the response I expected. Is there a problem with me looking at you? Not really. I thought I should burn your face into my memory. Your smile, you know. Though... My marvelous smile's unforgettable. Say something at least, or I'll start crying. It's better than a doll's, I guess. Eh? <laughs> Alright, we should go. Oh, I'm gonna start crying. From a closer look, rather than white, it looks as though it doesn't have color at all. Laro, is it around here? Yeah, the lake is just over there. The lake? small and shallow too, but it's good enough for a small boat. And here we are. The slope's slippery here, so be careful. Alright. This road followed along the very border of the two colors. It's changing into green. I guess it does look like the color is eroding the nothingness. I left my boat near these rocks. Huh? La- or Laro? Uh-oh. The doll there? Wh why are you here? And there you and the forest are one and the same. The question makes no sense. G get away from my boat! Is this yours? I see you're better with wood than Ignis. And Mirio. That. Hmm? One more time. What? Your name? Yes. It's the first time I felt like you truly called out to me. Say it one more time. Hey! Doll! Don't come anywhere near us! Go back to your forest! This is inside my forest. And it is you who came here. I have no business with you. Chester! And Virio holds your voice in high regard. It was the first time we heard our name was truly called. Your color will doubtless reach a big I want it, and I can wait no longer. Your color shall be... Chester, run! Get out of the forest! You want him too? In that case, Imperio shall take you both. But don't be afraid. With that, or with that, all of us will be one. Morrow, run! Oh my god. Ugh, oh, it's getting so tense! <sighs> Shit! I should've brought my bow. You can use a bow. I suppose we could've used it to slow her down. Chester, are you alright? Yeah, but more importantly... Yeah, it seems like we can't leave the forest. What the hell is going on here? Where did all those trees on the road come from? Laro, I think I can see a still passable road over there. Over there is... Ignis' house. Let's go. Eh? Are you sure? Well, it's better than just standing here. And she seems to be drawn closer. Uh, okay. Damn. Oh no. Hey, are you home? Ignis! Old man! God damn it, why now of all times? Laro, get out of the way. Oh, oh, okay.
I know you're inside, Ignis. Could you please open the door? Your doll is after us, and we need your help. What? So you were inside? You were so rough I mistook you for a wild beast. You bastard! I ask you for protection from your doll, and if possible, for a way to get out of this forest. Protection? I might have made it, but I do not possess the power to control it. And even if you, or even if you would escape the forest, you could never escape it. As long as you're on this island. No, on this world. I don't want to discuss my illness right now, Ignis. All we want, or all we want to escape right now is your doll. Chester. Wait, Chester? If there's really no way, then please, at least take Laurel with you. The doll is after me. Wait, huh? What are you... Indeed. As long as it can get its hands on you, it has no interest in anything else. At least for now. As such, my protection matters little. I see. What? What the hell do you see? What the hell are you two talking about? Don't you even dare say that you're going to sacrifice yourself for some shit. I'm not going to sacrifice myself. I am her target. I can buy time while you... Are you taking me for an idiot? What are you planning to do with it alone? The roads are blocked and we don't even have any weapons. Lara. I'm not doing it. I'm just not doing it. Calm down, Lara. Listen to me. Fuck off. I know what you're trying, or what you're going to say. That you're dying anyway so that it doesn't matter. No way I'm listening to you. It doesn't matter if you're going to die today or tomorrow. I'm not leaving you. No way. No way. Chester. Laura. Thanks. You're kind to a fault. As such, please calm down and listen to me. Okay, so this is where I'm going to save. I'll go to, how about, page 5. Save it here. Back to page 2. Okay, so I'm going to say, I want you to run away. What you said to me, as much as it makes me feel pathetic, that's the reality. I'm going to die soon, but you will live on. No matter the reason, you can never let go of life. So you're asking me to abandon you? No, you should just choose, the, or choose a path that's best for your life. For my sake, too. supposed to do that? You said we were friends. You're my friend, aren't you? Abandoning one's friend is no different from abandoning oneself. Laura. Thanks. Yeah, we're friends. Jester. You're my precious friend, Laura. I'm the one who has abandoned you. Would I be correct in assuming that doll is a living thing? I am not sure. I suppose you could think of it as a plant. Is it susceptible to fire? It didn't work for me. But it is shaped as a human. If you break that, it will be the end of it. Oh god, I started crying! It's made of wood, yet doesn't burn. It might look human, but we're nothing alike. Once you finish the outer design, the insides came alive on their own. In a way, you could say that it is being composed almost solely of magic. 
It sounds like you'd have to be a magician or a hero to beat something like that. Even if it was susceptible to fire. What would I do if I ended up setting a blade or setting the whole fire of a the whole forest ablaze? I should break its human shape, huh? I don't think I could hide from it just by being silent. I'd better think of the entire forest as her. The longer our encounter takes, the more I'll be at a disadvantage. I should strive to end it in a split second. However, I never expected to receive something like this from him. He didn't seem like the type to carry around swords. Unexpected or not, Ignis is a pretty mysterious man after all. I wonder who he is exactly. Hmm? I recall seeing this crest before. What are you planning to do with that? Oh, here she is! Do you expect to break in Virio with that? Thought it'd be better than nothing. <laughs> Interesting. And that's Ignis' sword, isn't it? Who could have thought he would help you? You must have stuck or struck a chord with him. Although he shouldn't have that kind of emotion back. Well, Chester, I think that is enough talk. Oh my god. I shall take your color to myself. Oh god! I'm not a patient or not a patient type, are you? Oh god. Oh impressive. You actually cut my branch off. This is my first time as a whoops. This is my first time as a lumberjack, though. Oh dear God! <laughs> Unfortunately, you are too slow. You will not break in Virio with this. You should not leave me time to rest. We're gonna die. We are so dead. <sighs> you can't hide behind the trees from the forest, I suppose. Good thing the trees themselves are not attacking me at least. This is way too much. I'm already at a disadvantage here. The sole blessing is that she's got her guard down. Chester, are you trying to play hide and seek? Good thing this thing or good thing this thing survived. But who would have expected I'd meet my end at a Here you are Oh god <laughs> Uh let me tell you something. I'd advise not to go any further that way. That's a cliff over there. You're gonna fall to your death. Thank you for your kind suggestion. Hmm? He's fast. Oh, damn. Did we do it? I see. <gasps> so you were acting slow on purpose. <laughs> that was close. Yet, you're still but a... Oh my god! He has a gun? I will give you this- uh, I will give you sound ahead of the color. Although I'm not the biggest fan of this particular too. <gasps> Holy shit! Holy fuck you guys! Oh my god! That's so cool! That was intense as fuck! Red. So even dolls have red inside them. Or were they made to have it? Poor taste if I ever saw any. 
Oh, man. Oh, this is so cool! <sighs> Thank goodness. The sky is still bright, or it's still blue, alright. I know I'm going over my usual time limit, but I'm gonna finish this ending. Please, don't move anymore. I'm too tired. Are you watching? I would have appreciated some help. Why would I ever do such a thing? <laughs> but you're helping me now. That child would give me a headache to keep her on that speech right. Did he wake up? I I see. He's gonna be angry as a bear when he wakes up. I didn't know you had that. Ah, the gun? I had one for self-protection. I didn't expect for it to prove useful in a place like this. Such a small thing and yet such power. Ooh, that's technology for you. I can give it to you if you want. I no longer need it. What are you planning to do from now on? What kind of question is that? Ch Chester! Where are you? I'll live to my fullest. Let's see. Hey, Chess! Ah! Uh, here you are! Hey, yo! Or hey, ho, Laro! You bastard! How could you? Oh! <laughs> Don't mock me with that grin! There's no need to be angry. Just look at this beautiful sky. Don't try to change the subject. I'm so glad to be alive. Huh? <laughs> um... Yeah? I'm leaving this island no matter what. I don't know when, but I swear I'll do it. So in preparation for that, you've got to tell me all you know about the outside world. Every day from now on, this is how I'll use the time you give me. So I can leave you with your heart inside me. to me over Steam. Oh my god! So, guys, guys, if you want to play this for yourself, it is on Steam. You'll have to go and buy it. And, yeah, just support them, because, oh my god, this is so cool! Oh. Oh, 
it's not done yet. Ah, uh, damn, I overslept. I was up till pretty late yesterday after all. This is coming for lunch, so I should probably hurry back. I only came to tell you that I finally finished my boat. But it seems I fell asleep as I remembered your face. You always wore that kind of laid-back smile after all. <laughs> it was fun. Whatever I tried, I could never win against you. Oh no, he died! It's gonna make me cry at the very end, really? But that frustration eventually turned into power. I'm genuinely grateful, you know? No, don't do this to me! So thanks. I probably won't be able to come here anymore. But you're fine with it, aren't you? I will push forward for your part as well. So better save me off as I leave. I mean, I feel like I could do anything as long as I have your eyes on my back. And we'll be together even when we're apart. For you are inside me. So let's keep having a blast from now on to Chester. Why did I have to make me cry so so hard at the very end? In memoriam achievement unlocked. Oh my god, okay, so that was freaking amazing. Alright, so I'm gonna end it here. And in the next time that I play Enigma, I'm going to go with Laro's second ending. And possibly the third ending, if it doesn't take that long. So, I'm- <laughs> Oh my god, I'm crying. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up down below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!